Now, I have been a long time Dragon Ball Z fan for a while. And with this new Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4 that's going to be dropping in this reveal trailer that came earlier in 2023, I was looking for plenty more details that have been dropping. Luckily, Geekdom has been dropping something to some other YouTubers. But I have really been wanting to see what's going on when it comes to this because so far, the roster leak for this game is claimed to be even bigger than Xenoverse 2 and features characters from Dragon Ball Super who have yet to appear in the games period as well as there's some new Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 4 leaks that have been revealing a new custom feature and you know even according to Geekdom 101 Ben Namco has created some new features for the Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4 with one of them being tied to aesthetics in the form of custom taunts he said that they explained that these taunts will kick in when certain characters fight one another such as Goku fighting Vegeta or Frieza so meaning that it's gonna be pertaining to one character so you know one character versus another and their experience with that character that's like Team Gohan going against Cell you know all types of situations so I know that's gonna be interesting just to see the dialogue alone but I know that if Goku and Vegeta were to fight Vegeta will have a voice line that only triggers when he's about to go against his rival saying something along the lines of oh Kakarot you want to face me in battle you know just interesting interesting so it's pretty it's pretty cool to see what's gonna happen and it's probably gonna be quoting stuff directly from the anime itself I'm wondering if they're gonna try to see if some other people are going to be playable. I know that manga characters such as Moro and Granola aren't going to be put in at the moment. But it is interesting to see that when the anime returns, and the anime might return as a online anime web series, so that's interesting to see. Uh, there's been talk about that lately uh, within a Geekdom 101 live stream he did recently. He stated that there might be a online web series that may be coming to... Uh, the Dragon Ball franchise and maybe the music as well as the blood and aesthetics might be brought back to Dragon Ball itself and that's kind of what helped with Dragon Ball Z you know and making it more intense like it should be and needed to be so it's kind of interesting that it had went down that route but I know I'm very curious to see what this uh, Dragon Ball Z Ten Budokai Tenkaichi 4 will be bringing in because a lot of fans are speculating that this roster well the roster is going to be the biggest as it has been but we also know that additionally there has been two new movies out there in the form of Broly and Superhero but it's like they should be adding Broly maybe Gamma 1 Gamma 2 definitely I, I wonder if Cell Max is going to be thrown in there Beast Gohan is definitely going to be put in there. And also news about how there is this uh, Comic-Con in New York uh, stating that October 12th that there will be a special Dragon Ball panel. And again, that might be what the, we were talking about earlier, about how there might be a new anime Dragon Ball series coming out online. And they might show along with a mysterious new teaser. So it's going to be interesting because... Um, you know it's it's gonna be very interesting because they said we will talk about new developments in the Dragon Ball series along with a mysterious new teaser also the appearance of special guests so it's gonna be interesting with this game coming out there's a lot going on um, so just be updated you know like subscribe we're gonna talk more about this on the channel and I'm gonna see you guys next time